Welcome, Saji. Um, this is the second week of December. Um, and I want to say to you, Saji, thank you for returning. Um, this week begins from uh, this week begins from the 9th until the 15th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration, Saji. Okay. So, dear Sagis, let's see what's coming up. All right, Sagi. So, what we're looking at here is some jealousy coming at you, Sagi. I'm seeing your green. Some jealousy is coming at you. Um, some of you could be in a relationship with a Pisces. I am seeing financial stability and financial abundancy is going to be coming up. Okay, so however, um, that is coming in. Um, that's what is coming up for you, Sagittarius. So, um, if you are in a relationship with a Pisces, um, I am seeing some jealousy from outside influence coming in um in your relationship okay so you got to be aware of that you can see that energy coming in okay so strategies money and a new start is coming in um if you were in a relationship with a pisces i'm seeing money and new start is coming in i'm seeing some of you having some issues and situation with your children um, but unexpected, I think things are going to be coming around, okay? Jealousy. Um, deceptiveness. Um, some of you could be dealing with an uh, um, uh, old scorpion man. Uh, this old scorpion man is 45 years and older. Very deceptive. Okay, but this, the um, Pisces... Um, there could be some deceptiveness also if you're in a relationship with a Pisces that could be also be happening some of you are dealing with uh, these these are coming up as kids for some of you so if you have kids that is a Pisces cancer scorpion or an Aquarian um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libran I am seeing this deceptive that thing is happening but the most important thing is that I'm seeing a new start with financial situation if you're in a relationship with a Pisces. I'm seeing financial stability coming in. Okay, so what we have here is the energy of the tower. Now, the energy of the tower is here for a young um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. The energy of the tower is here for a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Some deceptiveness that a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, what's trying to do is not going to work because I see a tower moment coming down. Okay, so when tower moments comes down, whatever um, that a young person was doing, and this is at work, I'm seeing a tower moment coming down um, with something at work for a Pisces. It could be a child, but it could be your partner also. I'm seeing a tower moment where um, his work could be ending. And so, 888, I'm seeing financial stability is going to come up for this person. So, there is no worries. If even their work has ended, um, there is no worries because I'm seeing financial stability is going to be coming up, okay? Then we have some burdens that some of you could be having um, burdens, some issues that you're dealing with. Um, the tower moment is going to remove those burdensome issues also. I'm seeing some of you are dealing with an organization, an institute, and I'm seeing that there was some burdens with this organization, institute, but I'm seeing these burdens um, moving away, okay? Whatever is transpired, I see these burdens moving away. I'm seeing love, the offer of love is coming in from a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and whatever the deceptiveness that was playing out, I am seeing conflicts with some deceptiveness that was playing out, okay? So um, there is jealousy around you, okay? There is jealousy around you, very much there is jealousy around you. Now I'm seeing here that a scorpion person 
has done some deceptive um, situation. A scorpion person have done some deceptive situation. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles, so money is going to be coming in. There is a no question money is going to be coming in. Um, there was some regret, some family issues and regret that has to do with uh, a young um, Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Um, and it has to do with um, communication was blocked between you and this person. It could be a child, whatever the issue is or was. But I'm seeing that energy is, is coming down. So whatever it was where communication was blocked, that issue is coming down. I'm seeing love um, is coming in. And this is wonderful because I'm seeing love from the family is coming in. Um, and I see you showing your partner love. So a lot of love is here. Um, <clears throat> a lot of family connection. Um, there was some um, imbalance with family situation and family connection. There was some imbalance. As some of you are dealing with an old Scorpio man or um, yeah, an old Scorpio man, four to five years and older. I am seeing that this person is trying to connect with you and give you love, but I'm seeing that you're seeing through this person. Whatever is going on, you're seeing through this person. So there is a very deceptive um, Scorpion man, four to five years and older lies and deceptiveness okay lies and deceptiveness so whoever the scorpion man is that you're dealing with this person is really deceptive okay um very deceptive person uh this person is is is, is showing you love but it's like false love okay um some of you could be um basically um, meeting someone new that is an, a scorpion. This person is very false and very deceptive. I am seeing that you're going to be finding out uh, who this person is. Now, this person is showing up with false love, but I see you're cutting through the BS. It's, it's, it's as if you just, it's like you smell the lies before it reached you. So there is a scorpion man out there that is uh, um pretending to be as if they're offering you love and pretending it is definitely a scorpio um the pisces is okay the pisces is uh, um upright but this old scorpio man that is pretending to be oh um you know you're such a nice person or you're seeing his falseness because he's not being honest and you're seeing this it's as if some of you are already feeling that this man is not being honest. You're feeling it and you're seeing it and you're you're like, you know, something, whatever. Some of this um, could be happening on the work floor. Okay, so some of you could be meeting this person on the work floor or via work or via organization and there is some conflicts, okay? I'm seeing new love coming to you. Whatever is happening, I'm seeing an organization institutes is bringing <clears throat> new love to you. And this is very good because what is happening and what is transpiring is that whatever the conflicts is and was, there's a lot of jealousy and you know that. And it's as if whatever is happening, some of you, whether you're um, in a relationship with this uh, Pisces, um, is a Scorpion um, person, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion person, you are going to be realizing that this is false love, okay? It's like you're cutting through the BS. It's like you're seeing the deceptiveness of this person and the lies and deceptiveness, and you're kind of cutting through the BS. So, as we notice, we see the eight of wands. I see you have some regrets not connecting with a child. Some of you, it's a child. Some of you, for people between the age of 18, 45, you are of a conflicting um, situation where um, there was a conflict between you and your partner as the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. And I see you having conflicting energies, but I'm seeing love is being offered to you. But I'm seeing as, as if you're wondering, is this love is real or not? But you are cutting through whatever is going on. Whatever the situation is with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, I see a tower moment is coming down on the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And what is transpiring is that um, 
what is to inspire is that whoever this person is and whatever that was happening with this person I'm seeing whatever burdens you were carrying over an organization institute seeing that sort of a thing I'm seeing that this is moving away there's a tower moment removing your burdens and a new start for financial stability is going to be coming up and the lies and deception is going to be over so there was a lot a lot of deceptive situation where you had some regrets over a quarrel and deceptive situation where you have some regrets over and um, that was uh, um, there okay Archangel Gabriel is here in this week it is a uh, white and blue it is the week of healing inspiration and healing this is one of the most beautiful cards I love this deck and I like using it at Christmas because then the angels and guides of Atlantis comes out now I'm seeing um, with work when it comes up to work I see this is good um, some of you um, if you were a lawyer you have a client that was a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I see you ending this uh, um, relationship with this person because you find out the real deceptiveness that has transpired I see you find out some real deceptiveness that has transpired in your end in it. A child could be born for some of you, whatever is happening. Some of you, if you are um, 45 years and older, there could be a new child. Some of you could find out that you're pregnant, but I'm seeing new love is coming in and I'm seeing a new start to your financial stability. Okay. Then we have grace. I am filled with the same beauty, poise and um, divine perfection as all of God's other creature bam 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 so Sagittarius I love this you guys are always so graceful oh my god isn't this beautiful call up an Archangel Gabriel in um, this week and be graceful no matter what is going on around you Sagittarius be very diplomatic poised and graceful and you will see how far that will take you okay I love you Sagittarius so much happy birthday um, new love is coming in Sagittarius okay um, there was some lies and deceptiveness over your child if your child was a scorpion there was some lies and deceptiveness over your child and this is all coming out okay and they are going to be finding out that there was lies and deceptiveness that people created lies and deceptiveness over your child oh my god Saji <laughs> I can't believe this all right um no I gotta go get the card for you Saji stay right there because I do it by everyone I have to do it by you guys too So let's see what is going to be the extra message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the second week of December. What is going to be the extra message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the second week of December? Okay, so I'm saying financial, you're dealing with a financial situation, you're dealing with your parents, and you're dealing with people in power, or you could be the one that is standing so you could be the parents you could be um the one who is powerful and standing okay so that is what we see coming up for you Sagittarians I love you guys say thank you to the universal angels and guides say thank you if you see a pure white dove in this week that is your spirit guide saying to you that they're looking out for you and say thank you just smile and say thank you Okay, I love you guys. Namaste until next time.